Hello everybody, Katerina here. Welcome to my kitchen on this beautiful summer's day. Well, tomorrow is Father's Day and I thank God every time I'm able to say my sweet papa is coming here to have lunch with me on Father's Day. I have prepared a beautiful lunch for him with all his favorite foods. And for dessert, I'm going to be preparing a chocolate crepe cake that my husband and I first had in Paris. We loved it, and I'm going to be preparing this for my sweet papa tomorrow. Now let's get started. Okay, now for the crepe, you're gonna need three cups of full fat milk. What I'm gonna do, I'm just ever so slightly going to heat it up. Okay, uh, to the milk, I'm adding seven tablespoons of granulated sugar. I'm just going to allow it to dissolve. While my milk is heating up ever so slightly, I'm going to add six eggs to my blender. The sugar has dissolved. This is ever so slightly, ever so warm. Now I'm going to add it to my eggs. Just going to give it a quick blitz. That's it. I'm going to add six tablespoons of melted butter at room temperature. Now another quick blitz. I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour and two-thirds cocoa powder. I'm just gonna blend these two together and I'm going to start adding it to my blender a little bit at a time. Now I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of espresso. Chocolate and espresso go beautiful together. Okay, final blitz. In the refrigerator for half an hour. So while my crepe batter is being refrigerated, we can start with the filling. Here I have four cups of extremely cold whipping cream. I'm going to add three tablespoons of icing sugar and one cup of mascarpone cheese. Mm. Can you taste it? Okay, one more minute and it's ready. When you see it like this, nice and thick and creamy, you know it's ready. Okay, I tasted it. I'm just going to add, I'd like it a little bit more sugary, I think. So I'm going to add two more tablespoons of icing sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transfer the whipping cream to a glass jar and in the refrigerator. Now, Lorenzo just asked me what my favorite father um, uh, time was that my husband did that he deserves father of the year. And the, one of the, there's many, because my, my husband was absolutely, in my opinion, one of the best fathers that I know of. He never missed a competition, never missed anything to do with the girls, even if it was a 10 minute project showing at the school, my husband was there. Unless of course, which was rare, that you know, with business and everything, he just couldn't be there. But one of my favorites, and, and I have to say was, he was in Italy on business, and my daughter qualified in the finals for her jazz number. And she said to me, oh mommy, I wish dad could, could watch me in the qualifies. Um, at the qualifies of my solo and I told I told my husband on the phone I said she really wants you here he says well let me see what I can do well sure enough my husband booked an early flight to be back on the day I remember it was a Tuesday to to come back to make it in time to see my daughter's final competition of course the flight was late my husband was panicking they finally arrived I had to go up to the um, the qualifiers at the competition and ask them to keep delaying my daughter to the end because my husband was on his way from Europe to see her dance. They were so wonderful. They said, of course. So they kept moving her down, moving her down. My husband called me. He says, I have no time to come home. I'm grabbing my luggage. I'm driving down to Bradford, which is about an hour and a half from the airport. I'm just going to come as I am with my luggage so that I don't miss Angelica's performance. I said, fantastic. So I told my daughter, well, she was just beaming. She said, oh, that's my dad. And I said, yep, he's coming. And sure enough, they hit traffic. And we're waiting and waiting, and the qualifiers came and said, said to me, I'm sorry, Katerina, but you know, we, we, we postponed your daughter to the very end. She has to go on now. 
I said, okay, my daughter was so disappointed. Now, you don't know Angelica, but when she's disappointed, you read it on her face. I said, I'm so sorry, Daddy tried. He's on his way. He's in traffic. There's nothing we can do. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Okay, Mommy, I understand. So she goes into the back, in the back ready to, to go on and perform. And the lights are going down, and I hear this ruckus at the exit, at the doors to come in because they shut the doors before every performance and there's this ruckus going on and I'm like what is and there is my beautiful husband in a blue Italia sweater his luggage and he's like my daughter's performing I gotta get in there and he rushes in I wave him down he drops his luggage runs in runs in the seat the lights go down and I said oh I said God is good God is good and I said to my husband, oh darn it, she doesn't know you're here. And my husband looked at me and he said, don't worry, she'll know I'm here. And I said, well, how is she going to know? And he said, as soon as my daughter was about to come out, he yelled, go Angelica. And you saw her little face come out and she's smiling and she danced her little heart out. I'm so sorry, I don't mean to get emotional. That story just gets me all the time. I'm sorry. Okay, for the crepes, I like using clarified butter because it doesn't burn. Not too much though, very little, just, just to coat it enough. I have a quarter um, measuring cup here. Just gonna take a quarter cup of the batter inside my crepe pan. Okay. I heated up the pan at first. Okay, it's been two minutes. Perfect. Now one minute on the other side. Just a little more. Perfect. It's too cool and dry. Don't worry if it doesn't come out perfect. Lorenzo is determined to make me cry today. What I wanted to add on uh, with my story there is that the following week after that, there was another dance competition. And of course my husband was there, but this time we noticed a lot of fathers, which usually you don't see. You don't see a lot of fathers, uh, but my husband never missed. And they all went up to my husband and they said, great, thanks. And my husband was like, what? He goes, because of that uh, uh, shenanigan that you pulled two weeks ago, flying in to watch your daughter dance for three minutes, now my wife said that I have to come to all the um, dance competitions because if Angelica's father can manage to do it, so can we. Thank you. <laughs> and actually, I'm going to add that when I do run into these uh, mothers or fathers, do you know that they still remember this? They still remember this. Okay, my crepes are ready. Now we're ready to assemble. I have this beautiful aquamarine dish for my sweet papa tomorrow. I think it's beautiful. I, this uh, recipe made approximately 20 uh, crepes. So we're going to start. We're gonna put one down, a dollop of that beautiful cream right in the center. You are going to need your offset spatula for this. And all I'm going to do is just spread it down. And just keep going. Now I'll, I'll come down here. We're having such a wonderful conversation here with Lorenzo and Mauro and Julia and all of us here. They're determined to make me cry today. And uh, yes, I do have a, a wonderful um, experience uh, a papa experience with my older daughter as well Rosalba we were in Buffalo and there, she loved to tap she was she was the top dancer I can say that she, you couldn't you she always won all the competitions when it came to tap she was 12 years old we were in Buffalo which was about an hour and a half from here and she won the the championship the national championship at um, showstoppers in Buffalo and uh, she beat everybody from all of North America and they were getting ready to um, announce the the awards 
And my daughter was, for all her categories, she was going to get this huge trophy. And one parent contested because my daughter was very tall, slender, beautiful. She looked about 15, 16 years old when she was 12. She didn't look 12 years old. Anyway, this parent went up to the judges and complained and said, no, there's no way this child is 12 years old. She, they're cheating. And the, even though the, the, the uh, owners of the studio went there and said, no, we know for a fact that she is 12 years old. This is not right. Uh, she deserves the trophy. So she looked at my husband with those big eyes and she said, daddy, I'm not going to get my trophy because they don't believe that I'm 12 years old. And that, that, that was it. You could mop up my husband from the floor. So he got into his car, drove back from Buffalo to Toronto, went to our home, picked up her passport, birth certificate, school ID, anything that had her name and birth, birth, birthday on it, got back into his car, drove all the way back to Showstoppers before the award ceremony, went running inside. My daughter's like, Daddy, did you get it? Did you get it? And my husband's like, yes, I got it. And he went to the judges, presented all the, um, the ID there of my daughter, staring down that mother who was saying that our daughter was not 12 and that we were cheating and lying. He was staring her down. And the judges all looked at each other and they said, yes, she is going to get her award as the top tap dancer in North America. And it was a huge, well, my daughter could not stop giving my husband hugs and kisses and hugs and kisses. You just would not believe in. And that was a, a wonderful uh, father-daughter moment. <laughs> Thank you, Luce. And this was the picture of that competition. There's the huge trophy and you can see the showstoppers and she got to keep her trophy and she got to bring it home now that was that was a really nice memorable moment okay now that we've reached halfway i'm going to put just a, um, a layer of blueberries i just love that okay I think that's wonderful. That's going to be lovely to bite into some blueberries. Okay, and now I'm just going to continue. Okay, so I, I finished all 20 layers. I'm placing the blueberries on top of the top layer. Mm -hmm. How gorgeous is this? I'm going to sprinkle it with some icing sugar and my cake is done. Um, it has to go in the refrigerator overnight. My cake came out fantastic. I know that my sweet papa is going to love it. And my mama. I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you will try this uh, magnificent recipe. I want to wish you all a very happy Father's Day to all you fathers, grandfathers, great-grandfathers, stepfathers, and of course we can't forget our fathers in heaven who I know for a fact tomorrow are going to be down here to celebrate with us. Talk to them, wish them well, and uh, it's Katarina from my home to yours. Don't forget to hit your like button, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel. Ciao! I was enough for her not long ago I was her number one she told me so and she still means the world to me just so you know so be careful when you hold my girl time changes everything life must go on i'm not gonna stand in your way i loved her first i held her first and a place in my Will always be hers From the first breath she breathed When she first smiled at me I knew the love of a father runs deep And I prayed that she'd find you someday But it's still hard to give her away I loved her first How could that beautiful woman with you 
be the same freckle face kid that I knew The one that I read all those fairy tales to And tucked into bed all those nights And I knew the first time I saw you with her It was only a matter of time I loved her first I held her first And a place in my heart Will always be hers From the first breath she breathed When she first smiled at me 